Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about permutations examples on alphabets. In our last classes, we have done some examples on numbers. Please, these are all continuation classes. Please watch from the beginning for better understanding. Our explanation is completely based on the assumption you already have the previous basic knowledge. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, so given they have provided some alphabets A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So the first question is how many permutations contain strings C, D, E? Means they are trying to ask A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Total 8 alphabets they have provided. How many ways you are going to arrange these 8 alphabets? 8 factorial ways. But they are trying to ask you the question that uh, in, in your permutations, means in your arrangements, C, D, E should come together. Then only it is forming a string, C, D, E. Those permutations should be considered. Suppose take, this is, can we consider this permutation? A, C, B, D, E, F, G, H. No, we cannot consider this permutation. Why? Why we cannot consider this permutation? Because, uh, C, D, E, not together. It is not forming a string C, D, E. C, B, D, E is formed, which is not accepted. So that's why if you want that C, D, E string in your permutations, you have to combine them. C, D, E should be considered as single element. This is the point you need to understand. If you understand this, solving this is very, very easy. So, A is one element, B is another element, C, D, E is combined together, we consider it as an element, F, G, H. Now, we are having total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different elements are there. These 6 different elements ca can be arranged in 6 different positions. How many ways you can arrange them? As C, D, E as one element, 6 elements, 6 positions. Now you can arrange these six elements in six factorial ways. The first position can be filled in six different ways, five different ways, four, four different ways, three different ways, two different ways, and single way. This is what, how we got. This is basic from our previous classes. So total how many arrangements that contain C, D, E as a string, six factorial ways. Now consider the next example, the second example, same A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H has been provided. How many permutations contain string A, B and F, G? A, B should be there, means you have to combine A, B, F, G should be there, so you have to combine F, G. Combine A, B as single element, F, G as another element. So, a, B as single element, F, G as other element. Now, remaining elements are C, D, E, F. Total, how many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These 6 elements can be arranged in 6 factorial ways. In 6 positions, you have to arrange them. So, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, this can be arranged as a 6 factorial ways. Whatever the way you arrange, A, B will be there, F, F, G will be there because we considering it as element, A, B combined as one element. So, 6 factorial ways. Now, consider the third one. This is bit, you need to understand this. The number of permutations contains string A, B, C and C, D, E. Suppose, suppose, take like this. If you consider A, B, C as one element, and C, D, E as another element, is it possible? C can be positioned in two places. But how many times C is available? C is available only one time. All these examples are on the basic concept of without repetition. C cannot be used two times. So, is there any possibility to have A, B, C, C, D, E together? Yes, one possibility is there. If you place A, B, C, D, E as combined as single element, in this we are having A, B, C 
and we are having CDE. This is the only possibility we have in order to get the strings A, B, C, C, D. So, all these elements together combined as single element. A, B, C, D, E as single element. What are the remaining elements? F, G, H. So, total how many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 elements should be placed in 4 different positions. In how many ways you can arrange these 4 elements in 4 different positions? 4 factorial ways. 4 ways, 3 ways, 2 ways, single way. This is what we call it as 4 factorial. So, number of elements that contains A, B, C, C, D, E is 4 factorial. 4, 3 is 12, 12 to 24. 24 different possibilities you are having. Similarly, the next one, the number of permutations contain, containing string A, B, C and B, D, E. If you take A, B, C as one element and B, D, E as another element, B should be placed in two different places. Is it possible? We are having from the given input, we are having only B one time. And repetition is not allowed. All these examples are based on the concept of without repetition. What's without repetition? Discussed in our previous classes. So, A, B, C and B, D, E. Can you form any combination? Suppose if you combine A, B, C, B, D, E. No. B should be placed two times. So, we don't have any combination. To include these two, we need B twice. So, not possible. It is not possible to include B two times and uh, without including two times, is it possible? No. That's why, that's why number of arrangements you can do with this possibility is zero times. We cannot do it. Our answer is uh, zero. Hope you understand these examples on alphabets. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.